Welcome to the first Pi Convention. The past few days, we asked pioneers to come up with a unique name to call our convention through a Pi topic, and we received 186,173 suggestions. The community upvoted and downvoted those suggestions about half a million times. As a result of this process, a very interesting name bubbled up. The name Pi Coinvention. Coinvention resembles co-invention, which means we are all inventing Pi together, but it also resembles coinvention and convention. So we decided to go with it. This is Aurelien from the core team talking to you from Paris, France. I am one of the software engineers working on the Node app, and in this session, I am going to cover the recent updates we have made to the Node app and the reasons why they are an important milestone in our roadmap. To date, the Node app has been installed by more than 200,000 Spioneer, 60,000 of which are active every day. We have also recently released PyNode version 0.3.4, and this is a big milestone because it is the first version that enables a set of selected pioneers to follow the Py testnet blockchain. The latest version is now 0.3.6, and this version makes some more internal stats visible to users. Some node availability stats, some internal data about the blockchain component, and finally some troubleshooting information. Building this version 0.3.4 was a big chunk of work, as we went through more than 10 test iterations with community moderators and with voluntary testers before releasing it to the general public. Due to its nature, the blockchain component has caused a fair number of compatibility issues with various devices and various operating systems. And our goal remains what it has always been. Make the interface as user-friendly as possible and eliminate as many issues as possible before releasing a version to the general public. We are still focused on user-centric design. We want to emphasize what you care about as a pioneer and reduce the technical complexity for a majority of users. This is in line with our goal of building the most widely distributed and most user-friendly digital currency. Right now, all node users can upgrade to the latest version. However, for technical reasons, we are not releasing the blockchain component to everyone we are gradually making it available to users on a rolling basis. We have invited over 100 node candidates and we will be inviting more pioneers to start following the PyTestNet blockchain in the upcoming weeks. The point I'm trying to make is, don't be discouraged if you have not seen the blockchain feature. It will be available to you very soon. Our goal is to eventually enable all node candidates to turn on the blockchain component and follow the PyTestNet blockchain. Let me try to explain what this concretely means. First of all, what is the testnet? The PyTestNet is a full implementation of the Py blockchain, but it is using a test currency. Whatever you do on the testnet does not impact your real Pi balance that is shown on the app. The purpose of the testnet is to validate that the consensus algorithm works in real conditions before moving on to the real deal, which will be called the mainnet. The next session will cover that part in greater detail. Now, what does it mean to follow the testnet? Well, what that means is that these latest versions of the Node app enable a user to join the network and locally record and validate the state of the Pi blockchain in real time. However, those nodes are not receiving connections from other nodes and they are not helping other nodes join the network. That will be part of the super node role. 
The next session will dive deeper into the specifics of the byte testnet deployment and how we are planning to gradually move from the current system towards the mainnet. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, this is Aurelian from the core team and in this session I'm going to cover the roadmap for the future evolutions of the node. In the previous session, we covered how the most recent updates to the node were setting up the foundation of the testnet. In the fourth quarter of 2020, we will keep building on top of version 0.3.6, aiming to achieve the full potential of the testnet. As a reminder, the only way to run the blockchain component in the node app currently is to follow the blockchain and record a local copy of the distributed ledger. Therefore, our first step will be allowing super nodes to actually participate in the consensus algorithm. For that purpose, we will build, we will build features such as submitting and writing transactions to the blockchain and validating transactions submitted by other nodes. The testnet will be a platform to run experiments as part of the revision stage of the network. To achieve this, we will set up the centralized layer which will allow us to assign simulated data, run experiments, and run stress test scenarios. What this concretely means is that we will be manipulating the consensus graph in order to make sure that the network is still performing correctly under various conditions. What if some nodes are offline? What if the network is under attack? We want to make sure that the network is still able to achieve consensus in those situations. Now, in order to determine if an experiment is successful or not, we also need to know the effects that our experiment setups have on the network health. This means that, along with the centralized layer we will be using to run the experiments, we will also be building a real-time network health data collection mechanism. Once supernodes functionalities are in place, we will select and invite more supernodes in the fourth quarter of 2020 to participate in the consensus algorithm of the testnet. We will invite supernodes based on the node availability statistics that we have been collecting so far. In the future, more nodes will also be selected to follow these supernodes. If time allows, we also hope to build some part of the testnet actual testing infrastructure. Let me give you some examples. We may build a block explorer, which will enable users to view the transactions that have been recorded on the blockchain. We may build a faucet, which will enable users to receive some test currency to their wallet in order to play with the testnet transaction capabilities. We will need actual wallets to enable users to submit transactions and manage, manage their funds. And finally, one thing we may want to have is transaction requests, which will enable a user to request funds from another user. The purpose of all of these tools is that we want to build a complete testing environment so that each individual node is able to play with the full testnet capabilities. Finally, in 2021, as more super nodes and nodes are added to the network, we will keep experimenting and address any scalability issues that may arise. And we will um, do any work that's necessary for the revision stage of the consensus algorithm. Once the testnet has enabled us to validate that the consensus algorithm is performing correctly under various conditions, we will start building the mainnet. It will be very similar to the testnet, but this time it will be the real thing and it will be connected to the actual balances of the pioneers. Thanks for watching.